Hi, I'm Ileana Limon Romero with Orlando Sentinel talking with our college football insider Matt Marshall about the Florida Gators job opening. Will Muschamp was fired on Sunday. He's going to coach UF through the final two games of the regular season. And now the Gators, some would argue, one of the premier programs in college football, are looking for a new head coach. Uh, Matt, hearing always right away Bob Stoops. It's one of the first names that always gets thrown out there. Tell me a little bit about what you think. Do you really see Stoops? landing at Florida? Well, I, I really don't think so. I mean, I know to, he was asked today on the Big 12 teleconference by a reporter, you know, to talk about the opening. He really kind of brushed it aside saying he's he wants to be a candidate at the at the Oklahoma University and that he really didn't want to talk about the the situation as well. So, I mean, you look at what he's he's involved in right now at Oklahoma. You know, he's been there. He's over 160 wins there. He's one of the higher paid coaches in college football right now making you know, upward over you know, close to five million dollars you know you look at the facilities that Oklahoma has as well I think if he really decides it's time to leave and go to Florida I, I think it's because he's really itching to have a challenge of you know rebuilding a once proud program like the Gators are but I, I don't see that happening I mean I think the opportunities are going to be there for him at Oklahoma I think if he continues to he wins at least eight nine ten games a year He's always somehow in the mix every year for a possible national championship with the new playoff system in place, with four teams being a you know being in the mix for the, a shot at the national championship. I still think that, that Stoops' is best chance to win is at Oklahoma. That's not to say that he probably doesn't have a little bit of a, of a heartstrings after being an assistant there with the Gators for you know back in ninety six to ninety eight. So, but I, I don't see him making that move. I, I think he's better off staying at Oklahoma. All right, another coach I think that's that's been pretty popular, uh, Dan Mullen. He's a former UF assistant coach, obviously coaching one of the hottest teams this year. Uh, but I just don't see him leaving Mississippi State and coming to Florida. There are a couple of signs that sort of stand out. UF has sort of known for a while that Will Muschamp wasn't going to be able to pull out of the nosedive, wasn't going to be able to extend his run. And if, if Mullen was really a top candidate they wanted to target, I have to think that they would have pounced earlier. They would have made the effort to lock him down. Uh, it's also hard to discount uh, before this year, you know, neither of the Mississippi schools were really doing much in SEC play. And, and while the spike has been impressive this year, I think a lot of athletic directors are going to expect these coaches, both Hugh Freeze and Dan Mullen, to, to show a little bit more before they invest and hand them the keys to a major program like the University of Florida. All right, so we've crossed a couple of names off the list tentatively, names that seem like absolute long shots for this one. Uh, does UF go to the NFL then? Are there some good NFL options out there that make sense, Matt? Well, th there's some guys out there uh, that I think obviously will you hear their name being mentioned in the next couple of weeks. You know, I think a guy like um, you know Mike Shanahan, you know, obviously a proven winner in the NFL ranks. You know, the, the only knock on him would be his age. He's over the age of 60. You know, is he really interested in getting back in, you know, getting into the coaching game? Something he hasn't been in for a long time. You know, recruiting is always a difficult situation there as well. But a guy who's known for his offensive mindset, so that would be something you may possibly think about. Plus, having that name would be a big boost when you're looking at recruits. You know, I think maybe a guy like Josh McDaniels, you know, guy who used to be the uh, the head coach with the Denver Broncos and it wasn't a, it was the assistant offensive coordinator or offensive coordinator with the New England Patriots. He's a name that you could probably see coming up as well. I think you might see Greg Schiano, you know, the former Rutgers coach who, who was at you know uh, Tampa Bay. I know he he didn't you know, things didn't work out so well with the Bucks, but I think again he's got college experience, he's got recruiting experience. And I think all those factors could come into play. Those right now would be the three, you know, the three top guys I can see. I mean, if you really are putting together the dream wish list, you throw Chip Kelly's name in there as well because his show cause ends in December. But I don't see that, Gator fans. I don't see Chip Kelly leaving the the Eagles situation to, to come back to college for the Florida Gators. I think he's want to go. You know, he's he's happy in the NFL. He's proving that his system works at the pro level. I think there are probably a couple of dream names at the college level, too, that stand out. I think if, you know, Jeremy Bullet could have gone back in time, I'm sure that he laments missing out on the opportunity to get Kevin Sumlin from Houston. Instead, Texas A&M plucked him away. Obviously, Texas A&M has made a huge investment, and he's got deep ties in the Texas recruiting territory. Uh, but if, if, you know, UF wants to go back to the well, and if they're willing to pay enough, it's certainly a possibility. I think another interesting name that's been maybe a little further under the radar is Davos Sweeney at Clemson. I think he's an interesting candidate in that he's got 
you know, great pedigree, has had great success so far at Clemson. He has some strong recruiting ties, and he certainly seems to have the off-the-field values that UF is trying to maintain. They were not happy about the bumpy end of the Urban Meyer tenure. They could not say or gush enough about Will Muschamp's work cleaning up the program. And at this point, I, I think that's going to be part of the profile, that they want someone who can win on and off the field. So that definitely narrows or refines the list a little bit more. All right, with Matt Marshall, keep following us for all the latest updates on the Florida Gators coaching search. I'm uh, Ileana Limon Romero, and thanks for joining us.